In the era of coronavirus, there are constant reports about the sheer number of sick patients. There are constant reports about how many people died overnight. A normal viewer hears all this depressing news and is impressed by it. Naturally, one's fear of their own mortality increases. And here's my question. This word alone, the constant reminder of death, of how many died and so on. We're getting scared like little kids. What's good about that? We're being separated. We're being separated, all right. But what's so good about it? Tell me, what's so good about it? It's good to grow up, to stop being like little children. What does it take for us to grow up? For me to think more about life and death? About death specifically? So we think about the reason for it. Nature is giving us a hint about what we should do. Do you realize this? This is such a help. Nature just sits us down and teaches us. This is amazing. We have to be grateful to this virus. Nature doesn't do anything without a reason. It is better to teach us this way than through a third world war which we thought was coming and were anticipating. How else? How should one treat death? One way or another, this question will arise, especially now, when one feels that he or a loved one would end up on a ventilator. I'm asking about the way I should treat death. How should I consider it now, in this moment, when we hear about it all the time? You should have a serious attitude towards it. Meaning? Death is not an accident. It is necessary state that is instilled in nature a state that we must go through. Indeed, death separates us from our animal body, my sense of self. Dislodges from the animal body and can transition into new states. Why don't we read an article? Here is a book I have from my teacher. These are his articles. He writes about what one should do to ascend from this life. Everything is written in Kabbalah. This is written by a Kabbalist, but I'm asking you about a regular person. What do you want from a regular person? A regular person is like a child playing with toys, having no interest in such things. Can you lift me above death, if possible? Could you help me cope with this sense of fear? Tell me something about it, if you can. It is prohibited. To tell me how to rise above it? It is not allowed, or you'll start striving towards really? it. Really? Yes. You'll stop being afraid of it. Should I be afraid of it? You should, because the fear of the unknown is instilled in you for the purpose of pushing you towards correction. In this world? Yes, yes, of course. So that I would want to rise above death, above fear? This is what the coronavirus is reminding you of. This virus is your friend who cares about you. It is telling you, look, you are living on the edge? On the edge. Let us try, since we have time to do something, to cross over even gracefully and easily. It doesn't even matter how. The main thing is that we will see our world, meaning the world to come. You will realize it in this life. So if I have such an attitude towards the virus, then my attitude towards life and death will be... Everything we do in this world stems from the fact that we die. If we knew that we do not die but transfigure, we would act completely differently in accordance with that metamorphosis. Just like now you are working toward your pension, a vacation or anything else, you don't think like a child but plan ahead. Thus. It's necessary for us. Please clarify the term metamorphosis. For many, this is a purely Indian term. Metamorphosis? No, we are not transforming into a bird or a tree. Do you remember if you live like a tree? You become a baobab. Yes. No, no, no. Actually, this is quite fascinating. When I was in India, to see how much this is helping them. To accept things, right? To accept it and to live with it. To be calm and philosophically inclined. But this isn't... Not that egoistic level. Not that level. When a billion people around you think that way, inadvertently you start to come down. So what kind of metamorphosis are you talking about? We are not talking about that, only about the inner spiritual state of a person. 
which becomes what? Which becomes free of egoism. Which is also echoed throughout our relations. This is a transitioning from our world to the upper world. Meaning when I start treating others with love. If you start doing this today, you immediately begin to feel the upper world in your attitude towards the others. Is this what love and bestowal towards others is? Yes. And is this what the upper world is? Yes. If I begin to feel this, does it mean that I'm starting to rise above death? Yes. And death is when I live for myself, only then does it exist? This is pure death. This is death. Indeed. Living for oneself. We practically live in a world of death, right? Yes, this is what it is called. It is said that somehow it doesn't exist? That's right. Here's another topic. One feels bad leaving his loved ones, his friends, his habits, going on vacation, the ocean. One doesn't want to leave that. Just like a child who doesn't want to leave his toys. Yes, sometimes one comes across these toys and sighs. That was life. He feels sorry to leave it behind. How do you feel about all these toys? The sole purpose of life is to rise to the upper world only to master an even greater quality of love and bestowal, of coming out of oneself. This is what is worth living for. Otherwise, you just fill yourself up with all these small... Small pleasures. Yes, small pleasures. It instantly disappears, leaves or changes. Obviously, all of it is not worth it. Not... I think the virus will help us. Yes, I also think that it'll help us. What is your personal attitude towards death? Could you tell me? I'm absolutely at peace with it. Really? Absolutely. I agree with the upper governance, whatever it does. Your agreement with the upper governance, it calms one down, right? Meaning a person begins to... Yes. Nothing matters to him? It makes no difference what state a person is in. The main thing is that he accepts everything from above and according to this, tries to adhere to it. What would be your advice to regular folk? How should they handle their fears? I would in their place be studying our materials. They are staying at home. This is the best thing they can do for themselves. It would bring them a tangible benefit, both an end to this virus, a general way out of our crisis, and a common social well-being with a deep understanding of life and death. And towards each other too, right? Of course, towards each other.